Hello everybody, my name is Alf Nephilim. Welcome back to Let's Play Kala. So I took a break. Just long enough to let my nerves settle. Get something to eat. So now, we'll go after those last two uh, thing majors. Pages. And we are going into... I want to say familiar territory, but definitely territory I've been to before. So let's go that way. That's going there. Wee wee wee. Standing around. Into Probably not the best thing to do to keep them getting disoriented. I'm hoping to finish this game. I don't know if there's going to be anything else that I need to do once I find the last page. I do want to try to get those last two pages. You, you know, what are you texting me about now, woman? Knows I am recording. Just told her I was going back to record. Okay, and now I'm out of breath. I hope a Wendigo doesn't show up. Of course, I know for a fact I'm not going to show up right here. The only question is Am I on the path that I want to be on? So I'm not on the path that I want to be on, I'm going to be in trouble. Let's have to figure it out. Wait a minute. I thought something on there was changing. This is. this is where the guy started talking to. As I wish it were not true, I am. Why, indeed, lost. I mean, I've been here before, yes, but I don't know where I am. I don't know where to go. I could really use some tall coordinates. Wait a minute, I remember hearing flapping up here before, which means there's a page, which means, I mean, I, I kind of get nervous about the flapping. Now that I know that it means a page, I can find that. Alright. 
There it is. Natasha clearly were scientists who worked on Rug Dead. Several elements were just this case. We are in India, a town in Siberia. Here they were supposed to be the institute where decades ago the most brilliant minds were to accomplish the impossible revive corpses. Now, in place of the complex, there are only ruins. It is difficult to determine excuse me, what exactly was there. Till this day we can stumble upon things resembling medical equipment. And it is clear that there is no hospital here. As the elder locals recall, one day the military came, marked out an area, set up a construction site, and it took them several years to build it. One building after another. People were happy because there was work. But as soon as they finished, the military surrounded the area with barbed wire fences and forbade to even walk in the vicinity. And the trucks pulling up and soldiers unloading some equipment. Behind there was a large lot where there were huge delivery vehicles pulled up. People said those were refrigerated trucks. It had been going on like that for more than a dozen years and nothing happened. It were three years before they closed down. It just, it closed it down, so weird things had occurred. We saw them transport people to the facility. And the whole village heard screaming in the middle of the night. As if they were murdering people. <sighs> One day it just stopped. The trucks left. The military stayed for a while. Engineers came. They tore the whole thing to the ground and that was it. What could have been in that facility? When asked about a possible explanation, Dr. Laegye, an eminent historian, says it was not unusual for the previous government to build a facility hidden deep in the corners of Siberia. It does not have to have anything to do with a paranormal fairy tale, but merely with classified military activity. Although historical sources remain silent about India village and any military facilities or scientists in this area totally contradicts the inhabited source. We became aware of existing documents that could shed light on the case. An extract from a correspondence with the wind <laughs> Fender and Receiver are censored. Uh, it mentions about a facility in the middle of Siberia where the military sends well preserved bodies of convicts convicts and refrigerator trucks to for further research. Furthermore, the author writes, I do hope you will manage to do something with them because the mountain is becoming impatient and one alive is not enough. Okay. Face north. Figure out where I am. Oh, jeez. Did I get up here? Am I right here or right here? I'm gonna say right here. Oh, Jesus Christ, how did I get there? Is it possible? We just head south. Likely not. That looks new. Oh, geez, that's where I need to go. Not new, this is where I need to go. Okay, we're in Wendigo territory. Caution must be observed. Uh, I don't want to play this. At the same time, I do.
Oh, Jesus. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Run, 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 run. No burst of speed. Burst of speed. He's behind me. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I refuse. Try and hit in as much of a southern direction as I can. Ah, I saw him. He was right on my left. Ah, I don't want to be here anymore. South. Into a hole. Oh. Uh. Can I go back this way? Jesus, Jim. Un circle. Now I'm more lost. Okay, so I'm right back here. Oh, God. I have to go south. Oh, look. Probably get down Skyrim style. Oh no. You have to go faster. I don't have yes. a lot of time left. You have to hurry. Find the way. Find me. Or I'll unleash hell upon you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Okay, I was just thinking. I was just thinking, oh no, I've been here before, I know where this is. But no, that is not the case at all. That is not the case at all. Oh, this is some place to totally nap. This is some place to totally nap. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. No idea where I am. Wait, over there, over there. There it is. That's where I need to go. Oh, the bells. They do not. They do not assure me. I hope those are wedding bells, and not the bells that toll for me. Because I know for a fact this is where I gotta go. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Oh, shit! My dear Vera. Don't kill me. I'm spending my time in the institute on long here. walks in the park only here i can find solace only in the shadows of the trees my thoughts are peaceful when i see how the sun brushes the green leaves and the wind covers my face in a gentle warm blow the doctors say the worst is behind me that's good the breakdown was temporary it's difficult for me to say what triggered this state. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The what tragedy done? that I've contributed to shall never find any justification or explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse. I'm yeah. not able to hide behind it. Right. I take full responsibility you low, for sir. what happened. And I am prepared to be punished. Good. The you doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. What have you done to her? I have to confess. I tricked you. I knew you would never ever want to hear what I have to say to you. That is why I sent my friend with this letter to your sister, and after a lot of persuasion, she agreed to read it to you. To you. I thank her from the bottom of my heart for this. I'm ending this letter. I want to bore you no more. I love you and believe that someday, hopefully, I will be able to tell you all this in person. Luckily, my friend Anton is by my side at all times. Oh, no, not Anton. He was the one that went to your sister. I hope this letter finds you both well and in good health. I wish you all the best. Forever yours, Vitali. Okay, just as I thought, I'm there. So, okay. I need to head south from here. Try and head slightly east. Make sure I find it right. Can I just say how to? Utterly terrified I was. This looks like the right.
Oh shit. Beautiful, beautiful full moon. I just say. Yeah. Keep itching on different spots of my body, and I keep having to take my hand off the mouse to scratch it. Take my hand off the mouse and take it off of the WASD. So I will not die because I had to stand still while I scratched an inch. Jesus, if I could just find my way back to the hill, rock pillars. Nope. I could just find my way back to the pillars. That would be lovely. Because then at least I can... I can turn back around and get back to here so I can follow the right path. Okay, now this is going to be me dropping. Thankfully, not to my death. Okay. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, am I stuck? Did I get myself permanently stuck? I do not know where I am. I haven't an inkling of where I am. I do know I am heading back towards there, which I do not need to be. right now for a camp. Hey, you don't want to let me up there? I'm honestly a little scared to not give myself a burst of speed every now and then. Because I don't know if one of those things could be right behind me at this very minute. It's a lot like Slender which I know I've been saying a lot, but you don't know if there's one behind you and you don't know how close they are behind you. Oh, am I coming back out? Am I coming out? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get back up from this way, but I have an idea where I'm hopping out. Assuredly, use coordinates. I repeat. Maybe. No, I was afraid of that. Please, how do you just find the central stones and not hear the droning of death? I might not be able to finish this in just one deal like I thought. I've quite frankly just about had enough of this for one day. There 
there's no way I just pop back out here again. Yeah, um... Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just try to find my way back to the main camp. And come back in another episode to finish this. Here I am. Okay, so kick out. I don't even know how I got all the way up to that northern part. That shouldn't have happened. What's up here? Getting closer to that That'd be the closest I've ever been to that thing. This is new. Where the hell am I? Okay, so sprinting while I'm there. Oh, wait. Okay. That is south plus east. So, yeah, that's. Shit. That's around here, so how the hell did I get up here? get to where it'll save. I at least know what direction I need to go. I want to know what the significance of that mountain is. Because in that last article, it mentioned the mountain. One of those last articles I got, it mentioned the mountain. Being hungry. Get my frosted butt back over here. Okay, 
because I am out of time. Okay, saving. Not safe. Just take a minute and look at this map right now. Because... There's gotta be a a uh, campfire around there somewhere. So there's a campfire here near these two. There's a campfire here near these two. There's a campfire here near this. Campfire here near this. There's gotta be a campfire somewhere in here for these two. Okay, it's quite obvious these things, these lines, show very detailed, very clear paths. That you can see if you find them and you look down, you can follow it. But it doesn't do a good job of showing the area as a well. whole. Still, I got that one. I've got one more to go. It should only take one more to do. Let's see. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna play more right now. What time is it? Yeah, I'm not going to really have time for it. But I know what I'm going to do. When I get ready, I'm going to come back to these stones. I'm going to go to the southernmost stone. I'm going to go straight down. I should find the path that will lead me to. So make sure to take a right. And I'll come to this area. Okay, just 62, 47. Get right here. Just gotta go straight south from here in the southernmost stump. Until then, I'm Alpha Nephilim, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later!